Hey everybody, I just made a, a few different versions of the Queen's Guard deck that involve weather, so I call this the Weather Guard deck. That's the meme of the day. Uh, the di I tried a King Brand version of it. It has a lot more deck thinning, it's a lot more reliable. This is the Croc and Crate one, and I like the Croc and Crate one as well because you get these Savage Bears in there uh, with the, uh, the Berserkers. You could definitely play a lot of different things with this deck. Um, some of the synergies is if you have Weather on the field and you play a Shield Maiden that pulls out the other Shield Maidens, then you can play a Armor Smith to bring the back to full uh, strength. So, it's, there are some synergies there. The Weather, if they don't have a way to deal with the Savage Bear and the uh, Ragnarok, then they're completely you know messed up. For the rest of the game it's kind of hilarious uh i actually your opponent either cannot deal with what you're doing or uh it's a kind of a struggle for this deck once they have a way answer to it it's uh problematic the reason why i have johnny in this deck is if i'm playing against a weather deck i'm not going to need ragnarok or aromancy i've actually lost a bunch of games because i was up against decks that were immune to weather for instance i was up against a one true king Aridin, and i was up against a nithral deck both of which kind of like mess me mess me up pretty hard outside of that uh, this deck was having a lot of fun so Saris is not as strong as that she used to be but she's still kind of fun to play if you're gonna play the Queen's guard you don't actually have to play Saris in your deck if you have the Queen's guard because you don't really revive Saris unless you absolutely have to and there were times where I could have won if I revived Saris hilariously enough this deck doesn't have great ways to get card advantage, so because it's not running the, um, it's not running Brina Brand or anything like that. The King Brand deck does though, so I hope you guys enjoy the video, um, and give me a thumbs up if you did. I Probably if you got a lamp. Okay, let's see what we get here. We're up against probably a traditional King Brand deck. Uh, I think that King Bran works with the Queen's Guard much better than Croc and Crate, but we're having fun. That's not what I want to remove. Come on, don't slow down on me. Okay, we're up against King Bran. I'm not exactly sure what he's going to play. Welcome, chosen one. Oh, he's, he's playing Operator. Oh, <laughs> that's good for me. Yes. Uh. Well, it's better for me to have these two cards. You've talked enough. Okay. Well, regardless of who goes <laughs> first, I'm getting buffs out of this. So we're playing against a Siri Dash deck. Okay. We'll just uh, end with a Berserker then. Come to get ya. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, well, that uh, ruins the card advantage I was planning on having in this round. Uh, yikes. Needs a good slapping. Yeah, I could have just played that and been happy. Eh, I lose card advantage. Yay! I'm the worst player ever. Could have played that completely differently. Uh, I don't have any way to get card advantage back, so we're going to have to have fun with revival. Set it, 
my table and let's drink. Let's have fun. Okay, and now we're going to revive Imagine the bear. Fair is patient, but she brooks no insult. The savage bear, that is. traditional <laughs> uh, weather has won us in the end we didn't really do and I played terribly my opponent didn't have not didn't have a counter to that they had to get stuff on the board for the armor smith to do anything so yeah opponent was completely messed up hey everybody today we're going to play a Queen's guard deck that focuses on weather now you would say, why would you ever put weather in a Queen's Guard deck? Well, you have the Clan Tursok Armorsmiths if anything bad happens. It also means that these shield maidens all spawn when you play them. So you play one of them, all three will come out. That's good deck thinning, and then you can reset them back to their uh, base strength with the Armorsmith. You have Dreg Bondu for the Queen's Guard. Now, the Queen's Guard isn't really there for anything other than Bothing Saris. Outside of that, we have Ermion for some deck thinning. We have lots of deck thinning in this deck, but we don't have Morkvark, which is standard for these kind of decks. But we're right now we're just kind of experimenting with the uh, Weather Skeleton archetype. We don't see very much weather, period, but being able to mess around with it sometimes can surprise your opponent. So without further ado, we're going to have some matches. Sorry for the darkness. <laughs> My light bulb broke, so I can't really play with the light on. I'm going to have to go fix it tomorrow. Up and at them, lazy mingers. You'll sleep when you're dead. Sit at my table and let's drink. Let's drink, he says. Okay, well... We just want one of those in our hand. We want one less of that. Uh, I think we got a pretty good hand. Don't think I want to mess with this too much. Can push out uh, Priestess of Freya. Yeah, because we're not going to need it this round. Okay, so we're going to start off with. You want to pass? You got to pay. Can't let you through elseways. Okay, that's interesting. No! If he wounds this in any way, it's good for us. Twist it! Okay. Me or me? Yeah, we're gonna get rid of these. And we want to keep that, so we'll just get rid of a, uh, we'll get rid of the archer. Give them no rest, no reprieve. Understood. Pansy. So buff up our Saris, which is why you saw my deck glowing green there. That'll get me a card on the board too. You're probably not expecting that. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I suppose. And the end. No rest. No reprieve. We can play. We can play that right now. It doesn't bother me. If he removes stuff from my side of the board, that's okay. 
I'm expecting him to use his leader ability now. To arms! All of you! Getting rid of some of this stuff. I'm actually surprised he used his leader ability so early. Oh, he's gonna buff up his um, guy. Yeah, that's fine. What do you need, Pansy? I'm at 30 points. He's gonna be hard pressed to beat this. Oh, I win! He gave up. <laughs> uh, I would say that I countered him kind of a lot. Hjalmar. To arms, all of you! To arms, all of you! <laughs> of course, friend. Alright, another herald. Uh, I'm happy with this hand. I should have gotten the white frost instead of the um, skeletus storm. That was my bad. Yeah. Those are icons taking on new swabbies. What do you see? We'll play that pass. He's doing the uh, pass immediately strategy, which was popularized by a certain streamer. It's fine. It does mess up some of my deck thinning, but I didn't get any deck thinning, so it's fine. So we're going to uh, discard some cards. Boop. And and clan Tursok Axeman. I mean armor smith. Yalmar on crates coming for ya. Yeah. Glory to you. I assume he has like a Yeah. That's fine. The goddess protect you from all evil. Glory to you. Glory to you. For the clan! For Skellige! Okay. Give him no rest, no reprieve! Gonna use that for some deck thinning and probably pass immediately after. <laughs> sure. Alright. <laughs> you probably have some weather or something. Fine. Well, we're up against a herald, so we kind of want to continue messing with him. So, impenetrable fog. Yeah. That's fine. Uh. We want to push this as many rounds as possible. Because the longer this lasts, the better. Oh, I really can't put it in any row I want. I'm ready. To arms! All of you! By 
By the rates of Morhog. Ah. For the clan! For Skellige! Interesting. You might wonder why I did that. Keep together. It's rather simple. Well, it, that does change a lot of things. So now we're gonna pass. He has card advantage, but it wasn't much I could have done about that particular situation. He got rid of the units that I was going to uh, buff up. Hmm, that would have been a nice card to have. For the clan, for Skellige! He's really getting a lot of value out of that. Yeah. Bow before modern Freya. <laughs> Probably has a Geralt Igni. That would screw me over. Uh, I suppose. And the end. By the rates of Morhog. Okay, and we're going to restore these back to their full. Even if he has I a... can do a great deal more for you. Okay. I win! <laughs> uh... I got a lot of points out on my board with that. I was worried he'd play stuff onto my melee row. I gotta change the deck of it. 